extended by the Prophet This is the mercy. This concession, the Prophet extended. Sunnah can add something to Quran. Sunnah cannot abrogate Quran. But Sunnah can add something to Quran. Just as I told you, in the law of, in, in the law of Muharramat, Nikah, you cannot have two sisters at once in marriage with you. But the Prophet said, the same will be the case of a woman and her maternal aunt or paternal aunt. They cannot be taken into marriage simultaneously. So that was an addition by the Prophet So this qasr in, in ordinary journeys, it is an addition from the sunnah of the Prophet Now this is salatul khawf. There is emergency, there is fear that if we all stand in prayer, and because you know, at that time, the prayer was to be led by Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa And if you have two prayers, two congregations as we are having, now the Prophet will be leading only one. And nobody, no among the Muslims at that time, would be ready to leave this congregation and wait for the second congregation, congregation which will not be led by Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Now this is the problem. Otherwise it is easy. You can divide, you know. Half of the army, half of the contingent, they can pray and the other can stay behind, guarding. And then, you know, they can go and the, the rest, you know, they, they can come and pray. But no, it is the case, special case, when Muhammad is there, sallallahu alayhi wa So the wordings are, وَإِذَا كُنْتَ فِيهِمْ When you are among them, with them, فَاقَمْتَ لَهُمُ الصَّلَاةِ And you are now leading the prayer for them. فَلْتَقُمْ تَعِفَةٌ مِّنْهُمْ مَعْكُمْ So now, one group of the Muslims should stand behind you, with you. وَلْيَاخُذُ وَسْلِحَتَهُمْ But they should take their arms with them. The arms should be ready, nearby. Not that they have to run after, you know, if, if there is some uh, attack, you know, surprise attack, and now running for the, for the arm. No, keep the arms with them. فَيْزَا سَجَدُوا When they have prayed, فَلْيَكُونُوا مِنْ وَرَائِكُمْ Now they should go in the rear, in the back. وَالْتَعْتِ تَعَيْفَةٌ أُخْرَى And the other group now should come. لَمْ يَسُلُّوا يَسُلُّوا Who have not yet prayed, فَلْيُسَلُّوا مَعْكُ Now they should pray with you. وَلْيَاخُذُوا حِذْرَهُ وَأَسْلِحَتَهُمْ And they should take now their precautions also, their shields also, and their arms also. Now what is the condition? Two rakat are to be offered. First rakat, the Prophet and the people, the first group, will sit together. Then Muhammad used to keep sitting. He is not standing for the second rakat. The second rakat, all the people are saying themselves, just as we join the congregation, if we are joined late, then we complete our salah. Now then, when they have completed that, they go. Now the other group comes. And now Muhammad Sallallahu stands up and the second Raka, these people are now praying behind him. And after that, you know, the, Muhammad Sallallahu would say Salaam and they will complete their prayer, another, another Raka. So that was the condition in which, you know, no, no, nobody was deprived of the Imama of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. the ladina kafarun wa taqfurun. These kuffar, these your enemies, these unbelievers, they very much love it, like it, that you become unaware of your arms. You just forget them. And your baggage and luggage. And then they swoop upon you in at once. Then they, you know, attack you in a surprise attack. وَلَا جُنَاهَا عَلَيْكُمْ إِنْ كَانَ بِكُمْ أَضَمْ مِنْ مَطَرٍ but there, is, there will be no blame upon you if there is, you know, some difficult conditions due to raining, how kuntum marva, or somebody is, you know, is, is ill, antadaw waslihatakum, that you, you set aside your, your arms, wa khuzu hijrakum, but you should have at least the shields with you, precaution. If somebody attacks, at least you can have, you can save yourself with the shield. Inna Allah adda lil kafirin azaba muhina. Verily, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prepared for the unbelievers a very, a very chastisement which is humiliating. 
فائدہ قوے تم اصلاح ناؤ وین یو ہیو سیڈ یور پلیئر کمپلیٹڈ فس کرو اللہ قیام و قودن ناؤ ڈونٹ ٹیک ٹو دی ایٹیچیوڈ ناؤ یو فرگٹ اللہ سلا از فار ذکر آف اللہ اٹ از اے ڈیفینٹ فارم آف ذکر آف اللہ عقیم سلا تعلی ذکری بٹ آفٹر دس آلسو یو ہیو ٹو کنٹینیو ذکر آف اللہ یو مسٹ گو آن ریمبرنگ اللہ یو آر ناٹ گوئنگ ٹو فرگٹ اللہ فار اے موومنٹ ایون فیضا پر ہے تم اصلاح فسکر اللہ قیام و قعود و علا جنوب کم کیپ اللہ ان یور مائنڈ ریمبر ہم ویدر یو آر اسٹینڈنگ or you are sitting or you are reclining by your, by your sides faizat manantum and when you feel you are secure there is peace there is no danger of any attack by the enemy faqimus salah now establish the regular prayer now this salatul khauf this will not be there now this person will not be there in the salat akanat alal mu'minin kitaban mawquta verily this salah has been prescribed on the moments according to the times appointed times wala tahinu fi ittiba'il qawm and don't feel weak don't be weak in ittiba'il qawm in your pursuing the hot pursuit of the enemy pursue them follow them wala tahinu fi ittiba'il qawm in takunu ta'lamun very beautiful sentence very beautiful aya If you are hurt, you have to face difficulties because going to war, there are hurtings, there are injuries, you may be going without food, you may have to go without water, all the things. In Ta'lamuna, فَإِنَّهُمْ يَعْلَمُونَ كَمَا تَعْلَمُونَ Your enemies also are, are bearing all the hardships and pains, aren't they? The 1,000 army came over to Badr from Makkah, more than 200 miles. Was it easy for them? They were striving for the cause of Tahut. You are striving for the cause of Allah. So you shouldn't complain of any discomforts, injuries or losses to life and wealth and property. They are your enemies. They are also doing the same. Are they not sacrificing their lives? Didn't Abu Jahl sacrifice his life for the idols? For their wrong deen? So, oh Muslims, why do you show weakness? But now, who, are, who is being addressed here? Not Abu Bakr, not Umar. Who are being addressed? The Munafiqeen. You profess to be Muslim. 